Good morning, guys. Rise and grind to all my fellow garage sailors going out this morning. Uh, it is almost seven o'clock and we've got two neighborhood wide garage sales just north of us again. So we got to go. You know, we got to let's hit it. So last video, I told you guys I had a limited budget that I gave myself because we have such a considerable death, a relatively considerable death pile uh, right now. So we're not trying to buy a ton of inventory, but I'm still not going to goof up this time, guys. I am at the ATM to get more cash than I already have in my pocket just in case. Good morning, guys. Too early for you? Okay. <laughs> They're like setting things up, but <laughs> no problem. I can stay out of your way. <laughs> you guys wouldn't happen to be bringing out like any older video game stuff by chance, would you? No. No. Somebody, somebody else as well. Oh, really? <laughs> you gotcha. Thanks. So I went to these two sales behind me and uh, nothing really, you know, that piqued my interest, but I did ask both of them about video games and they said somebody had already asked them. I'm the second person this morning to ask. So that means there's somebody in front of me that has been asking. I have the map here. Uh, my plan of attack is to go to these farther ones in the corner uh, before they do. I also want to say, guys, this is one of the most affluent neighborhoods I've ever been in in the city. Uh, this is wild. These houses are beautiful. Video games. Um, hey, Curtis, do you have any video games you don't want? I was actually wondering the same thing. No, gotcha. no, no, sorry. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Hey, did you get a flyer of everybody? I did, I did. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Anything in particular you're searching for? Uh, same thing as him, actually. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah no. just wondering if you guys have anything like nerd related, any like <laughs> old Pokemon stuff by chance no, or anything of no, that nature. We do not. Cool. Yes, sir. All righty. Well, good luck today. Yeah, thanks. All right, guys. We saw them. We saw them and they have already been around this entire thing. They must have gotten here very, very early. I got here maybe five after. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can maybe hit uh, some more of these smaller sales, see what happens. You guys don't happen to have anything like older video game related for sale, do you by chance? Like any old like Game Boys? We or? do not, we no. don't have that here at all. Okay, Sorry. no problem. You guys don't happen to have anything like along that line that would be like video game related, would you, you by chance? I have another guy who just was here. Gotcha. You guys don't happen to have any like older video game related stuff for Sylvie. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> Good morning. These salt, these are interesting. I know. <laughs> What's the story on these? You know, I. How how interesting. I don't know, but the the idea that either salt or pepper comes through the nipple is just a little bit uncomfortable even thinking about. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I'm not sure which would be worse, but um, you know, I don't know. I didn't buy those. It's I so I used to have an antique shop. And, oh really? And one time. Um, 
I went to buy some stuff from this guy, and he said, well, you got to buy it all. And yeah. a box of salt and pepper shakers. And I'm like, okay. So I, I sold some of them and, and the shop, and then some of them I just never got around even going through. Yeah, So I went through I understand. them a couple of nights ago, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, I don't remember that. <laughs> that's, that's wild. <laughs> So I did text those to a bunch of my friends and said, Christmas is coming up. You can yeah. <laughs> What's the price on these? Um, I think I had a price on They're actually, they're kind of collectible because they're kind they're of- cool. I, They're cool. Like, they're all over eBay. I've seen- They're $14. 14 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me, let me keep shopping. I'm definitely, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm, I'm, they're really neat. Would you be willing to do uh, 10 bucks on the salt and pepper shakers by chance? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Good morning. I gotta have them. <laughs> I, everybody Oops. was teasing me about them, you know, when I was, and I said, you know what? Those will be the first thing that sell. And I, <laughs> and I was right. That's it. <laughs> you should have taken some bets. <laughs> I know he said that. That's funny. That is funny. No, they're just, they're too cool to pass up. I I, they're just really, they're really neat. Venus. Really neat. That's the original box for the pair. I love it, yeah. yeah. No, that's great. That's great. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you very much. So this was the last sale of the neighborhood, and I refused to leave this neighborhood without buying at least one thing. And this set of salt and pepper shakers are really cool. Uh, we'll look up comps here at the end. I think they're definitely worth ten dollars. Uh, they're just neat. I've never seen anything like it. I think we're we're doing good. Good morning, guys. You guys don't happen to have any like older Nintendo or Sega related items for sale, do you by chance? No. No? Okay. I nope. still have a Wii at home I forgot to bring. But... Darn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's still in the store. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay. I'm tiny garage sales on one of my own. I got a two dollar item from you guys. Oh, I have okay. just the headphones. Now I have to get change for her. Wait, yes I do. Ooh. Seven, eight, eight. Yep, that's on my chain. <laughs> there you go. Sorry to take it all from me. <laughs> I didn't come prepared with any ones to the... prepared. We're all good. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we found that sale leaving another neighborhood-wide garage sale that doesn't start until 9. And yes, I did scope it out uh, to see if they were... any Anybody was open early and nobody was open early in this garage sale. I'm not going to wait around for an hour for them to open the neighborhood-wide. I just don't feel like that that's worth our time. But if we can hit a couple garage sales in between then maybe, and it panned out. I mean, that HyperX headset is worth it at two bucks. It's not gonna be crazy money, guys. But uh, anything HyperX, I typically do pick up as long as it's in good condition. So guys, we can't allow ourselves to get skunked like that. We are gonna go to the bins. It is about 20 till, 20 till 10. Uh, our bins does two rotations a day. This is day 10 a.m. rotation. So we're gonna get in here and redeem ourselves from those crappy garage sales. Very rarely do you see a full-size skateboard in here. Interesting, it doesn't look like it has any thing that's worth taking uh only a couple things so far a little mag light and some electronic that i don't 100 know and uh if i don't know what an electronic is i definitely look it up so yeah. not feeling hugely positive about these but these are some uh king cobra uh, irons hidden up in there 
to maybe take a look at those. I I doubt it. I doubt it. These are also some older Dunlops right here. These. Uh, okay, there could be a putter worth something in there. Let's go ahead and take those as well. Can't say I've ever seen these before. 1997 Dr. Seuss. Seuss Landing. Interesting. There must be some sort of like attraction or something. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we might take these Scott goggles. Why not? Maybe worth a few bucks. Not 100% sure on that. It has been, it's been tough today. It's been tough today. Aside from the golf clubs, guys, not looking too great. Been having a lot of luck with uh, Logitech stuff since the beginning of time, since the beginning of our reselling career. So why not take this? I'm not even going to bother opening it right now because uh, time is of the essence, guys. Uh, maybe? I don't, I don't know if uh, AT&T allows you to sell their modems uh, secondhand. They might have a Vero on this, but we're definitely going to check it out. This could definitely be worth something. You guys might have seen this in the background, but a little squish model, but they are, they are rough. They're rough right here. Somebody somebody decided to write their name on it probably, so we'll see how that goes. This thing is insanely rough, but it does say the limited edition of 10,000. Uh, I mean, just for my own amusement, I'm gonna see what brand is this. Uh, it does say 1999 NFL. Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out. We were just kind of scavenging. Oh, Dyson. Dyson uh, attachments can do really well too. And this looks relatively unused. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Is this Dyson as well? Uh, we'll figure that out in a second. I have to believe that it is though, because it's right next to it. We can lock those up for some quick bucks. Yeah, a little Toshiba remote. We'll take that. All right, I guess I should have gone to the outside today. This is uh, one of the outside bins against the wall here. So we're here. What is this? No. time that I've found like little poly mailer slash you know padded mailers is this exact size and I found more of them and they're so cheap and so light that I'm going to take them uh I'm gonna actually just put them in here because yeah I use these things a semi fair bit um I like having them around so we're gonna go ahead and uh and take the lot Y'all know when you get that hunch feeling about something, this is one of those things. I don't know, this, this at and I mean, this is very, very 90s to me. Like this would definitely be something that like my grandma's house or something like that. But I don't know, it just seems like it's in good condition. We're definitely gonna check it out. Also got some Tupperware over here that might be worth taking. Uh, those two bowls are decent. We'll, we'll check them out a little further. Y'all think I can get a few bucks for the sealed uh, Trident gum? When, when does this expire? I'm, I'm so curious now. When does this expire? Uh, best before March 23rd of 2022. So actually recently, somebody actually might, <laughs> might uh, get this and, uh, and use it. This thing definitely looks like it's out of 1987. You can tell by the older style connector there as well. Um, I've never heard of the brand. I can't tell what it is. Oh no, it's Gravis. I was reading upside down. I have heard of the brand. Uh, this thing looks pretty clean, so I definitely think we're gonna take this. Uh, there's another one that's super yellowed. Uh, why not? Let's just take both. We can maybe lot them up. Not holding my breath that these are brand new, but I mean, if they are, this is kind of neat. Uh, new old stock vintage poker chips. They are made in USA, so. I think, I think I've seen these on eBay before. I forgot what I was searching for, but I was like, oh, vintage poker chips, they can actually go for something. And uh, Foil is actually a good brand, recognizable brand. Please be vintage, please be vintage. 1993 Saban, this is sick, guys. I am so stoked over this. Um, Power Rangers wallet, yes, I. This is this is going with me. This is definitely going with me definitely one of those mornings where I don't feel confident about anything really um at least for big money I should I should clarify yeah I don't feel confident about anything for big money I know we have 
some bread and butter hiding around in here, but otherwise I'm just like, eh, well, we'll see. I found this red striped shirt in uh, somebody's throwback pile, which I always check somebody's throwback pile. Uh, what is what is their trash is your treasure, as you guys know if you guys are thrifters. Um, but we found an exact comp for this 1928 red stripe thing, 1140 best offer accepted with 585 in shipping. Um, yeah, I figured it would be probably around a $10 shirt uh, with a little bit of shipping, or we'll just probably list it maybe for you know 14 or 15 bucks uh, free ship. I should also mention why I picked this. Uh, Red Stripe is a not so common beer company. So anytime I find beer related stuff and it's a company that's smaller, I go ahead and take it. Always a good idea to check these uh, battery trays before you get any remotes. Uh, this one does have some corrosion in there. I mean, we could get that off, but for like, you know, a net six to $7 bill, uh, we're just not gonna take the time to deal with cleaning that. Also kind of the same story with the Squishmallow. I'm pretty sure this is not a rare one. It looks like somebody tried to clean the writing that was right here. Um, also has some like little thread damage down here too. It might've been repaired, I don't know. But either way, um, it's definitely lost some of its squishiness and it's just not worth our time. So we're gonna throw this, oh yeah, even more damage back here. I'm thinking we're throwing that one back for sure. This is something I found off camera. This is actually 1992, made in USA. It's a real deal vintage. I uh, got the lid on it. It's super clean inside. Really happy with this little Campbell's piece. It's not worth a ton, uh, around $10 maybe, you know, anywhere from five to $10. But this is gonna look great in the booth. It's gonna attract people into the booth. Just a super clean vintage item that'll get us a few bucks. So for those of y'all who aren't super tech savvy, if you find any of these wireless keyboard mice combos, make sure that it has the dongle. Sometimes it'll have the dongle embedded in the bottom of the mouse. Um, this one is actually an older Logitech, so it actually had like a bigger USB dongle. It is very obviously not here. Um, yeah, so this thing is pr pretty much just junk. All right, y'all, so I was talking about how this might be a Vero earlier. Um, these actually do sell. These are the BGW-210s. Uh, these are for the, um, for uh, fiber actually and yeah they still sell pretty decent sell through rate I didn't find the power cord so unfortunately I'm gonna have to throw this back uh, if I did find the power cord you know anywhere from about 15 to 20 dollars random person comes up to me and says hey is this your cart because there was a cart over here and uh, I was just like you know probably somebody going to the bathroom or whatever it's been here for quite some time and I went over and I was just like, well, I guess nobody's coming back for this stuff. Uh, and I found a pair of vintage Levi's, like uh, orange tab, like what? Like, okay, made in USA. They're in really solid shape. Uh, yeah, thank you, random person who left your stuff. Hope, hope you're doing okay. Also shout out to Eric for the Xbox 360 guitar. We're finally getting around to selling all of our rock band stuff. Yes, we're actually doing it. We listed one the other day, so uh, please applaud me in the comments section for finally doing that. Uh, Zesty is also very happy that we're selling guitars, but yeah, or selling rock band stuff. But yeah, so we got this to mate up with another drum set. I think we have one Wii drum set as well that we have a few guitars already at home. Couldn't find any sold comps on our 1997 Seuss, Dr. Seuss Landing uh, cup set here. They are in pretty clean condition. They're a little scuffed on like that little part right there, you guys can kind of see. Um, just because I can't find comps on eBay doesn't mean that they won't sell in the booth. I'm going to trust my intuition on this and we're going to listen to the booth. Got this on a total whim. This is a Weight Watchers points manager calculator from 1997, guys. And there are some sold comps, uh, both for 20 best offer accepted and six dollars in and 20 cents in shipping, and then another one for 20 dollars with uh, with four in shipping. And there's another one, 28 best offer accepted as well. Uh, probably a slow seller, but you know what, guys? I always say this: if it's easy to list and ship and take pictures of and all that good stuff, I don't have to test it then you know what, if it's a slow seller, that's fine. And it also doesn't take up a lot of room in our inventory space. So, you know, if we can get 15 bucks out of this, I'm happy. Totally eating crow on the Hoyle poker chips. I went and looked them up, very low sell through rate. And uh, also I noticed that since this tape is on there, it's probably gonna take away from the box condition, which the box condition's already bad. So unfortunately guys, these are gonna go back. So far vintage uh, yellow at t uh, wall phone. I found one exact comp at $33.96 with $15 in shipping. 
the only comp uh again guys i i don't know it just it's so clean and just in good condition and it just brings me back and i think that somebody's gonna love this it's it might take a long time to sell but you know what guys i think we're gonna take it oh no oh no oh no oh that's 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 okay that'll come off that'll come off all right i was scared there for a second but guys yeah i'm feeling it i'm feeling it we're definitely taking it finally getting through to the clubs and the first thing i see is this hinged driver this is medicus and if you find the irons guys if you find a brand new medicus iron you're in the money 150 bucks like all day uh but for the driver there was a brand new one for a hundred dollars and ours is brand new as well i mean sealed on the head still there um that one there was another brand new one for a hundred there uh there was another brand new one for 30 so i'm not sure what the discrepancy is there uh that one is the driver and the iron for 180 this is like a brand newer like yeah that's a newer one for 60 here's the exact one for 50 that's 100 percent the exact one there for 60 or 50 bucks with 30 in shipping uh let's see here another one for 45 with 27 so yeah either way guys uh we'll do pretty well on this and this is the first club that i saw so we we still have a few a few more to go through i did mention that we had some of these uh king cobra irons earlier unfortunately we don't have the full set we only have four of a set and that's not going to work for us i don't really want to clean these up and sell them individually uh it's just kind of a lot of work and yeah I'm just not interested if i'm only going to get maybe maybe 15 dollars a club so i think we're going to go ahead and just throw the rest of these back uh everything else was not that great but we did get our one driver over there also picked up this out of that pile back there uh, this is one of the Western Wrangler shirts with the little pearl snaps on there. It's in really good condition. Again, I don't know why they left this stuff, but I will go ahead and take this. It does have a little bitty, 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 bitty stain right there, but I think that's not going to hurt it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, thank you again to Eric and his father for finding me this Xbox 360 guitar. That will definitely go to use. I've got a mini mag light for my own personal. Uh, just nice to have a small flashlight around the house. Uh, got our vintage uh, phone there. We actually picked this up off camera. It's, uh, it is Ace Novelty, so it probably does have some age on this troll. It definitely needs a lot of cleaning, as you can see. Random Burger King toy from like 1993. I just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, another kind of troll thing, so I just decided to pick it up as well. Uh, a couple vintage hats, nothing crazy, just kind of off-brand. Well, that's not off-brand, that's Notre Dame. Uh, this kind of struck true to my to my heartstrings. I loved, I loved Notre Dame as a child, and this is actually a smaller junior size hat, so I went ahead and took it. It's gonna take a little cleaning on there, but I thought it was cool. The other two are made in USA, real deal, vintage. Uh, this actually looks like it's an older uh, tag right there as well for this Notre Dame hat. We'll see how that goes though. Uh, we got our Weight Watchers calculator, our Pearl Snap that I just showed you guys, our vintage Wranglers out of the same pile. Uh, thank you again. I mean, these Wrangler or these uh, these Levi's do have some tiny imperfections, like there's this right here, but it's still attached on there. It still looks decent. It's a good size, 34, 31. Like they're gonna sell well. They're gonna sell well. Little dinosaurs VHS. We have some at home that we can lot these up with, uh, either on eBay or in the booth. Our little red stripe shirts our packing supplies we got our dr seuss cups our campbell's cup this is a personal item because dusty and i need a cream cheese holder and the best thing of the day really is this power rangers wallet that i will be keeping for my own personal collection and last but not least a little gift for something later uh you you might know who you are zesty <laughs> that's for her later um and then this golf club right here that'll hopefully get us around a 50 dollar bill the throwback bin today was quite massive all right y'all a whopping 20.99 today as my cart rolls away down the stairs um listen guys this is not it doesn't it's a this hole doesn't look crazy it really doesn't but i will say that the guitar and the driver will get us over a hundred dollars net just in that so i'm happy even if we look at it like you know the vintage levi's will pay for the entire haul and make everything else profit i'm happy with that if you guys have enjoyed any of this footage and want to see weekly if not daily yes we're 
probably doing vlogmas this year so be on the lookout for daily bins content sometime around december uh but if you guys like any of this stuff if you guys like this episode leave a thumbs up on it we'd really appreciate it cost you nothing to do and we will see you later on the next grab you know guys it's been a long time since i've mentioned this but uh you know be nice to your goodwill employees your thrift store employees and uh do them a solid don't be a fart and uh return your cards to the cart return you will be rewarded i guarantee it